Okay, we're going to go ahead and do part D, which is the circulatory system. You look at your organ block. You see the heart is the last part that's left in the thoracic cavity. That's the upper body cavity. And you see this plastic, it almost looks like a plastic sac that was surrounding the, per the heart. That's the, called the pericardium sac. And we, um, we already cut that open and we can pull that back so we can see the heart. When you're looking at the heart, um, we're going to look at four different chambers. We have the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Coming out the top, you can see some different arteries and veins. This is the superior vena cava. We see the aorta. We see some coronary arteries. And in the back, we will see some, um, behind the heart, we have pulmonary arteries and veins that bring blood to and from the heart. Um, go ahead and read and follow your instructions looking identifying the different arteries that you see. And then we're going to cut some of those out and remove those, remove the heart from the from the soft, I mean from the, the rest of the organs. So if you want to cut farther away, so that's at the superior vena cava. We see the I'm going to use the scissors. It's a little bit easier to use the scissors on these tissues that are very, very fragile, okay, without cutting the things behind it. Okay, and on this aorta, this aorta is the one that comes out the top and goes up and around and down behind. I'll go ahead and cut the rest of that pericardial sac off so that I can see better. So down here behind the art, behind the heart, comes the, oh, looks like we left a little piece of lung. That's okay. This is the aorta, and I'm going to cut it back here. Okay, and then behind back here we have arteries and veins that come from the, from the lungs. And so I'm going to cut, cut those back here. I'm going to do this as much as possible without cutting the trachea. Well, the trachea has already been removed. You see the trachea there? It's already been removed from the, from the lungs. So you can kind of cut around it, separate it from the, from the heart. I'm going to cut that one there. That's the artery vein coming from the lungs. Again, on this side, we have some of the same things. Lots of connective tissue keeps it all together. More of that pericardial sac. Okay, so that's the heart. It looks like. this from the front. Okay. If we use our blunt probe, we can see that this is the, this is going into the, you can kind of stick it in there and move it around a little bit. It's going into the right atrium. This also is inferior vena cava goes into the right atrium right there. Then you have your um, aorta. It goes up and around and out. This is a pulmonary artery right here. We have the aorta that goes up and around behind right there. So those two arteries are very important. And then you also have some of the um, pulmonary arteries and veins that are going to come in and go through the left side. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the heart in half. So you want to orient it like this so that you see the front of the heart with the atria and the aorta and all of that. And we're going to slice through it from the anterior to the posterior. We want to cut longitudinally this way. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to cut. You want to make smooth cuts as possible because the the if you saw into it, it's going to 
butcher it all up inside, you won't be able to see very much. So as smooth as possible, one smooth cut if you can. Okay, and so now we see the inside. And so this was the front, and so on the inside, we're looking at the four chambers. We see the right atrium, the left atrium, and there's some blood. It's clotted up in there. The left, right ventricle and the left ventricle is on this side. Okay, And this one goes up into the aorta, and this one goes out into the pulmonary artery to the lungs. So after the blood leaves the right, atri right ventricle, it goes to the lungs to get oxygen. It comes back into the left side, and then it goes out through the left ventricle, out the aorta to the body.